going to apologize for the comment that I made. All I said was like, hey, if you're sizing out of Target, maybe do some self-reflection because she was complaining that Target didn't size out of 6X. I think a regular store outside of like a plus size store, 6X is pretty generous. Fully agree. And by the way, don't apologize for saying something that's correct. Uh, if you didn't do anything wrong, don't apologize. Always live and die by that quote, okay? Uh, you didn't say anything wrong. If you are so fat that you don't fit in conventionally sizes anymore because you're just too big, don't come, don't sit there and, and say you're sorry for saying the truth. That's true. You should take accountability. You should do some self-reflection. You should acknowledge that there are things that you can do in order to alleviate your problem. But anyway, I just thought that was uh, something that needed to be said before the woman at the top left starts talking. Regular store outside of like a plus size store, 6X is pretty generous. Agreed. Um so let's first of all clear up that Target only goes up to a 4X generally. And that is in their plus size section. Some of their lines now stop at like an extra, extra large. I know in my store, I can only shop in store their Ava and Viv collection. They don't carry any of their other lines in store up to a 4X. Their other lines only go up to an extra, extra large in store. So I'm just correcting you where you're spreading misinformation fine okay i mean it's kind of irrelevant i mean we should be focusing more so on the actual factual statements instead of like you know like actually focus on what the person is saying rather than like the incorrect stuff just to get a dub wherever you can so 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 irrelevant just so semantical like i get what you're trying to do here you're trying to make it seem like that person is going to be disqualified immediately because they said something incorrect about the sizes which is actually insanely true once you start going outside the boundaries of conventionally sizes then you got to start making adjustments to your own diet, bro. You got to actually look at what you can do in order to alleviate your problem. But, you know, this person is going to be an asshole. And instead of, like, focusing on the actual issue involved, they're going to focus on things that are completely fucking irrelevant instead of focusing on the point itself. But go off, queen. To an extra, extra large in-store. So I'm just correcting you where you're spreading Gross this information. Gross person. What I do do is push for inclusivity up to a size 6X. That's just, like, a general thing that I do. I would appreciate if stores carried up to like a five and six X. That's just like a general statement that I make. But like, I would appreciate if stores could just give me money. Like when I walk in, I just want them to like hand me money. As soon as they walk in, they see me and they go, oh my God, you're like the most handsome, most beautiful, big meated individual we've ever had ever come into this store. Here's like everything. Like here's everything that we have. Uh, we're going to give you access to everything in the store because guess what? You deserve it, obviously. Um, even though this is really not something that we should be doing at all and it's not sustainable in any 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 way possible, uh, we're going to do it anyway because obviously you deserve it, right? Same thing here. You can't expect retailers to just create clothes and then have those clothes on stock even though majority of the people that are in those sizes is 6X. Dude, Jesus, good Lord, you're black. That's a massive-ass person. You can't expect those things to be on the, st on the store shelves because those things don't usually sell. So they just kind of sit there and that stuff needs to sell because it's a store and they want to make money, obviously, naturally. Capitalism, right? So if you want the store to make money and you want the store to be successful, which obviously you do want because you want to purchase from them, you would obviously want them to sell, you want them to sell stuff that's going to sell. That stuff doesn't sell. We know it doesn't sell. When Old Navy back in 2020 had all their plus size section, they had to take it off the shelves because they literally said it wasn't selling. So yes, it's great that you want to advocate for certain things, but that advocation for that stuff is just really unsustainable. It's just like really, really like niche clothing options that many people don't even fit in. And by the way, even if there is a lot of stuff for you guys to buy, that's not even necessarily something that you're going to buy in general. Like, you guys consistently always complain. Like, oh, yeah, there's so many clothes here, but, like, everything is ugly. So I don't want to buy anything. Oh, my God, that plus-size mannequin is so bad. I didn't want to change the clothes of that plus-size mannequin because it doesn't reflect how fat people want to dress, which is really subjective, by the way, okay? So even when you guys do get your – even when you guys do get what you want, it's still not enough. So it's like a never-ending circle of an Ouroboros, of, like, a black guy sucking his own penis because – you guys want something that just doesn't make sense, and then when you get it, you still don't want – like, it's still not enough. So why do we even care? Like, why why should anybody really even care? Um, I think it would be better to actually, instead of, like, focusing on what everybody else can do for you, focus on what you can do for yourself. JFK reference. Like, Target in general carries up to a 4X in some of their stuff, usually online. 
I was sizing out of target and I took it as a moment of self-reflection. Period. 100%. I agree, bro. I 100% agree, dude. Once you realize that, like, you're becoming the problem, then that's the wake-up call, right? Uh, a lot of these people don't want to hear the wake-up call because it will actually force them to do something about it because... Once you realize it's your own problem, you have to do something about it or you just ignore it and just like, I guess, sweep it under the rug and hopefully it doesn't compile any more than that, which it's going to do, by the way. It's like the equivalent of literally living in a house that's burning down, but you just like purposely look the other direction so you don't have to see it. But uh, it's good that this person right here is actually acknowledging that there's something that they can do in order to alleviate their problem because that is really, really important. Uh, if you're becoming too fat and you can't fit into clothes, the solution is not to advocate for stores to uh, make bigger clothes. It's to fit into the clothes that are already there. It's never going to be appropriate in most settings in order to uh it's never going to be appropriate in most settings to advocate for the store to increase the sizes that doesn't even make any sense that's like somebody being poor and then just commanding the united states government to give them more money um that's not exactly how it's going to work most poor people are probably poor because they okay let me stop there are a lot of poor people and when i say poor people i'm talking about people here in the united states because i live in the united states and this is the only like cultural identification that i have so when i say that make sure you understand that i know a lot of people that are poor that are make like 60 70 thousand dollars a year um but they're not actually poor they're just people that spend their money willy-nilly that don't actually realize that they're spending literally like a hundred dollars every single month on streaming services or a lot of money on l my bad liquor um or they're spending a lot of money on weed or they're spending a lot of money on like nine different phone plans with like a limited uh everything and like they're just wasting their money or they're spending like ten dollars a day every single day on uh coffee or they're getting takeout every single day they it should have no reason not to have money. If you're making like sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year and your rent's only like, I don't know, fifteen hundred dollars, dude, what are you doing, man? Holy shit. Um, the amount of people that I know that are just like throwing money down the drain and don't realize it is insane. So uh, most of the time, because I talk to these people and they'll consistently go, Oh, David, I'm poor. I'm broke. I should be, I, I, I can't even live off this money. No, you can live off this money. You're just spending your money on things that have absolutely nothing to do with improving your life in a drastic way. You're just bullshitting spending. So if that's what you're, if that's what it is, the solution isn't to um, go to the government and ask for like a minimum monthly income for everybody. No, the solution is to budget, understand how much money you're spending every single month and then write it down. So that way you have money in the reserve uh, and you can carry through to month to month to month. In this, in this case, the solution here, um, when you go into the store and you realize that none of the clothes are fitting, the solution is to is not to beg the stores to have bigger clothes. The solution is to understand that you are the problem and that you need to lose weight in order to fit into the clothes that are there. That should be the solution, not to advocate for the government to give you more money. Or, you know, like it should be to budget yourself. Anyway, here's the problem. Just because you... Okay, she's going to make it, like, anecdotal. She's going to say, like... Okay, I already know what this is going to be. She's going to say, you maybe had this issue and it worked for you, but that doesn't mean necessarily it's going to work for everybody, which is bullshit. It is going to work for everybody. 99% uh, of people can lose weight by themselves. 99% of people have the ability to... Um, you know, practice a calorie deficit, calories in, calories out, thermal dynamics does exist. You're not just a superhero that can just manifest food in, inside their stomach and you can just exist off the power of the sun like you're a fucking solar panel, okay? No, you are gonna have to. Uh, calorie deficit is gonna work for most people. If you eat less than what you need, you will 100% lose weight, okay? Um, that might not be what this person's gonna say, but it's probably, I'm gonna bet it is gonna be what they say. Here's the problem. Just because you lost weight doesn't mean that everyone can or will do the same. That's fine. But if there's a solution to your problem and you don't want to do that solution in order to alleviate your problem, then suck me off. What do you want me to do? I can't do anything for you. I don't even care. What's even the purpose of making this statement? What are you even talking about? So like, I don't care if you don't want to make the right decisions and you make the improper decisions, even though you knew there was a right way of doing a particular thing. Like if there was a math problem, it said two plus two equals, and the teacher tells you two plus two. So you have two and then you have another two and then you add that together. What do you get? One, two, three, four. And somehow you managed to get to five. You knew that it was, you knew that it was four, but you somehow still managed to get to five. You still wanted to say that it was five. Go fuck yourself. What am I supposed to do about that? You're stupid. You're being purposely dumb. I can't do anything about your ignorance. If you don't want to do the thing that gets you to the solution, that's problem. That, that's, that, that's a problem, but it's your problem. It's not my problem. We know what works, and you don't want to do that. 
Okay, that's fine. If you don't want to lose weight in order to alleviate your problem, then do do whatever you want. Don't complain about it, though. Don't complain about it. Don't sit there and say that it's an issue for everybody else. It's an issue for you. You're deciding to stay in your overweight, voluptuous, blag body. It's no one else's problem but your own. You have your own agency, okay? Like, don't sit there and proclaim that it's supposed to be Target's priority to put you first. Who are you? Who are you? You're nobody. So don't sit there and try to proclaim that you're the, the like you need to be the, the the solution here. No, you're not the solution. You have to find your own solution. We know what the solution is. Just a calorie deficit. That everyone can. Or it's not everyone, by the way. The majority of people can lose weight. Or will do the same. And by the way, when you say this, you're literally taking accountability or agency off of everybody else. The implication of this is like you don't have to change for the society that you live in, which is bullshit. Like that's such a. Why are you so spineless? Just say what you just say. Just say what you think. Just say what you think. Stop using these fluff words. Stop trying to like beat around the bush. If you don't think that people can lose weight, just say that. So just because I am out here pushing for size inclusivity doesn't mean that just because you did something, I need to go out here and do the exact same thing. Yeah, but that's so fucking stupid. Like if your main cause, okay, like if your main problem is that there is not enough plus size clothing and you think that the solution is that we should make more plus size clothing, even though that is actually not going to solve your problem because you're consistently getting bigger and bigger, the solution really should be you should be taking your own health into your own hands, which will literally, I mean, there is not a single, uh, being fat is going to, D deteriorate your health in a dramatic way across the board in every fashion of your life regardless of what you want to say so if you want more plus size clothing fine it's a stupid cause but sure um if this person says or there are many people that say hey losing weight will actually make you really really healthy and it will actually increase your longevity and it will also make you more acceptable in the society that we created and your response to that is well i don't think that i should be accommodated i don't think that i should actually have to like adapt to the society that i'm in i think society should adapt to me you're dumb you're fucking stupid when do we ever use that ever that is so ridiculous okay like to sit you're so entitled to sit there and think that somehow that society should revolve around you are you crazy do you know how many people we live that live in this society that we have currently and somehow you think that you are so selfish that society should revolve around you nah get a grip bro you're out of touch that just because you did something and by the way you didn't even prove any points like this is not a point your point here is literally I know that there's a right way of doing something and I understand that you did it and then you actually got like a good, like you, you actually came out on top, like you actually solved your own problem. This is going to work for most people. That doesn't mean that I should do it. Okay. Then that sounds like a you problem. Fix your own shit. I need to go out here and do this. That's like somebody saying like, oh, my tire is flat. I, I really hope that a random person will come over and fix my tire. And the other person goes, well, I mean, I don't think that you should do that. I think it's probably better if you just like call, you know, triple a and then have them come out and then replace the tire for you and then that will solve your problem and you go but i don't want to do that okay then sit on the then sit on the fucking side of the road and hope i don't know what the fuck you want it's your problem at that point you didn't actually say anything here there's no value you just said you don't want to do it that's fine you don't want to do it what are you nine go ahead fix your own fucking problem or don't you're literally a child the exact same thing i have a condition called lipedema i don't care I wouldn't. Uh, you're just victimizing yourself. You're trying to make it seem like you don't have a reason. You're taking away all your agency. And by the way, uh, we're not talking about you. We're talking about people in general. So when you, it's such, it's such a, it's such a bullshit way of looking at this. When you say fat people, and then you go, I have a condition called lipedema. What is the implication of that? Are you trying to say that most fat people have lipedema? No, you're not saying that. We're talking about most fat people here. Okay. So if the, the main issue here is fat people cannot fit into clothing selections because there's no plus size clothing and fat people are suffering because of that. And your solution is I have lipedema. You've lost the plot. You have made something generally speaking, and you're trying to put it on yourself. I don't care. Okay. You literally can't format our arguments right now. You're so, okay, whatever. Encourage you to go out and research what that is. I, I don't care. This has nothing to do with you. You're talking about the avocation of plus size individuals. Why do I care about what problems you're having, medically speaking, when we're talking about the majority of fat people here? This is completely irrelevant. Do you not understand what your own argument is? I have an entire playlist on what that I is. I don't care. That's irrelevant. You're lit okay, whatever. And bro. it is an explanation as to why I cannot go out and do the exact same thing that you did. Right, but we're not talking about you, right? We're talking about fat people in general, right? Do you not understand that? Like, do you not understand we're talking in generals here? Why would you involve yourself in this? 
I don't really want to talk about that topic anymore because I have talked about it ad nauseum. Great. You didn't actually prove any point here. You didn't prove anything. You're so stupid. You didn't even realize that you literally said nothing of value here. So you're telling me that person said, well, I was fat. And I think for the majority of people, if you're fat and you can no longer fit in clothes in conventionally in conventional stores, well, the solution isn't to advocate for these clothes to be bigger. The solution is to for you to be smaller because you can solve your own issues instead of getting giant corporations and co uh, companies or governments to come together and try to make more clothing. That's never going to work. So instead, you should take your own health and you should take your own accountability. You should have your own agency to do it yourself, which is always going to be easier because it's always easier to do something yourself than to get big corporations or maybe even like giant entities to come together to do something else. And then your solution to that was, I can't do that. Even though you were literally talking about, like overall, we're talking about plus size people. Okay. Dumb person, dumb person. <laughs> so moving on. No, you didn't do anything. You didn't own anybody. You didn't prove any point. You literally just made yourself look stupid there. I was going to apologize and then I saw like- Don't apologize. Literally no reason to. You said something correct. How aggressive this person is to everyone true she replies to every comment and is just hostile true. and whatever and they have dumb points literally can you imagine replying to everybody's comment and you're still wrong i have a few things to say to this part go ahead one just because i am saying something that you do not like to hear does not mean it is hostile true two I get really tired of a woman who is fat standing up for herself. To <laughs> Why do you have to fucking virtue signal so hard here, bro? What is the, what is this identity politics game that you have to play here? Why do you even have to point out that you're a woman and fat? What else do you got there, huh? Do you got bunions too? Does that mean you're disabled? Like, okay, I'm also ableist as well. Like, how many more... How much more do we need to victimize ourselves in order to make a point? Like, as soon as somebody does this, dude, I'm immediately looking at you like you're a fucking, you're a terrible person. That's so gross, man. Shut up. Just say what you got to say without putting yourself in a bracket of, oh, I am disabled. I am a minority. Of a woman who is fat. Yeah. Standing up for herself. Right. You do realize that was also a woman that was fat, right? So, like, what is even the point of saying this shit? People who are spouting anti-fat rhetoric. And You're such a victim. You're such a fucking pussy victim, dude. Get your... Man, dude, can we please just, like, man up a little bit, right? Oh, no, man up. That's that's demonizing terms. Oh, no, what am I going to do, right? Oh, it's super sexist that I said that. Man up. Um, You know, p p get some balls, dude. Stop acting like such a victim. If you want to win a point, the way you win a point is to not victimize yourself and try to make it seem like you're the fucking, oh, no, I'm the, I'm the, you know, I'm being victimized. I am the, the victim in the situation. No, the fuck you're not, dude. You're literally not. And every chance you get, you have to victimize yourself to win an argument. You're a pussy. Up for herself two people who are and that other person okay let's just point this out you're a fat woman standing up for yourself and that is also a fat woman that is sticking up for herself so what is the argument like why would you even say that if it's a mutual thing spouting anti-fat rhetoric and you're espousing pro-fat rhetoric so do you not see that there is an equal here like what is it what is even the purpose this is such a dumb point and People turning that into, why are you so angry? Why are you so hostile? When we're literally just pushing back on the fact that people are like spreading misinformation or telling us. What is the in misinformation though? Can you, can you specify what the misinformation is? Like when you say you're espousing misinformation, right? The um, implication of that is that that person is espousing misinformation, but you have yet to disagree with anything that they're saying. You haven't said that anything they're said is, is incorrect. So can you tell us what that misinformation is? Oh, was it just the six X thing, which is really not relevant in any way, but all right, whatever. Like when you literally have been espousing nothing but misinformation, you've li taken away all the agency off, off of everybody else. Okay. That we are subhuman. <laughs> Who is saying that, dude? You can't go to a one particular individual and claim that they're misinformation, this and this and this. <laughs> that we don't deserve things, that we need to change our body, that our bodies are wrong. Like... You're literally attacking us. You're a victim and you are not actually a victim. You're just victimizing yourself to make it seem like we are the problem. You're not, you know, we're not the problem, dude. You're the problem. And then when we stand up for ourselves or respond, they're like, 
What? You're not standing up for yourself. You're most definitely sitting down for the majority of the day. Let's be honest here for a second, dude. And you're also, whenever arguments arise, you literally have to put yourself in a victim mentality in order to win any of them. You're not actually winning points. You're literally, like, sympathy farming to try to make it so so that everybody else looks at you as like, oh, no, we can't say anything bad about her. She's just fighting for a cause. She's a victim. She's being oppressed. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't care that you feel like you're being oppressed or victims or whatever. You know what's oppressing you right now? High blood pressure, uh, type 2 diabetes, um, your inability to walk upstairs, gravity. Why are you so hostile? Like, just the gas. It's just missing turns. I will, I will agree. Um, but uh, most of it is true. It, it is like you're trying to dismiss, like, this person's arguments by saying a whole bunch of words. But anyway. Lighting that happens in those statements is just mind-boggling to me it's like why are you the angry fat woman right now i should be allowed to attack you come on for real yes like i just <sighs> okay and also the fact that i respond to comments yeah i respond to comments because you all think that you can just tell us what to do with our bodies you can tell us that we're unhealthy just because we're out here existing and you know nothing about our bodies. You're not just out here existing, correct? Well, could we just talk about that for a second, dude? You're talking about yourself, right? You're not just existing. You're on the internet posting videos in a public way and you're expecting people to comment because you want to reply to those comments. So you're not just a fat person existing. Stop saying that. You're somebody on the internet that has a lot of things that you're saying that are affecting other people. You can tell us that we're unhealthy. And you are unhealthy. That's a fact. If you're overweight and I know you're obese, you're most definitely unhealthy and you should change your body for, you know, everything else, dude. Like you can't expect an 18 wheeler to be able to like fit on a conventionally, a conventional road, like a one lane street. Probably not going to work. Right. Uh, or like maybe if it says 18 feet, uh, can't go any, anything more than 18 feet can't fit. You can't just like force things into places. If you're too big to do something, the solution is to, isn't to make the bridge bigger. The solution is to make yourself smaller just because we're out here existing and you know nothing about our bodies. Well, I know that being fat, that's an obvious, and you over here talking about, and you over here talking about gaslighting. Uh, I don't know, I don't know anything about your body in a very like specific way, obviously, but I know that you're overweight and or obese, and I know that's tremendously negative on your health across the board, so that's wrong. You're just wrong on that. That you think you know more than our doctors. I don't know if I know more than your doctor. I probably know more than your doctor when it comes to like Yu-Gi-Oh and like other particular things. But uh, if your doctor is telling you that you're perfectly healthy or like there's not an issue with you being fat, you should probably get a new doctor because that individual is literally hurting you. Um, that we all shouldn't be allowed to have access to things. Don't you think that after a while? You can have access to stuff, but you just can't expect it because you're fat. Like you being fat is going to negate you from doing certain things. In the same way that somebody that's, that doesn't have legs is going to be negated from walking. So I understand what you're saying. Like you want access to stuff, but you're literally putting yourself in a situation to where you're not going to be able to benefit from the stuff because you are too fat. You have weighed yourself out of having access to that stuff. And instead of blaming everybody else, you should be blaming yourself. Because you're expecting everything to be made for you, which is very entitled. That gets really annoying and obnoxious to hear. I don't really care if it's annoying and attract. Uh, like, you're just dumb. You're just dumb. Okay, right. All the time? Just a thought. So, bro, this person is so fucking. I don't like this person, bro. So maybe it would be helpful if you would take a step back and learn something. Maybe we wouldn't be so angry. Why are you talking to me like like I'm a child? Like why are you talking to everybody like we're children? It's so condescending. You don't need to talk like this, dude. Okay, just say just talk like a regular person, man. I know you wouldn't talk like this in public, right? Jesus Christ, how does anybody watch you when you talk like this, man? Um, the solution isn't to learn stuff. I'm good. I know more than you probably when it comes to this stuff. It seems like you're purposely ignorant that you don't want to actually learn any of this stuff in general. It seems like you think that you know it all, which is obviously not true. Um, it seems like you've gaslighted yourself into believing hogwash and you've put yourself in a echo chamber of just people yes queening you consistently. And when somebody pushes back against that, you think that the solution is go full on attack mode when most of the stuff that they're saying is correct. It's all that everything that they said was true, but somehow you've convinced yourself that it's not. And you literally smacked yourself in your own mouth in this video because you didn't actually, you didn't actually disagree with anything that person said. You just went off of feelings. You're just saying things that hurt your feelings, but I don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, I don't care that it hurt your feelings, like whatever. I'm actually a very pleasant person. Eh. 
if it if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, it probably is a duck. Like a lot of people tell me that I'm like really aggressive in conversations and stuff like that. I'm okay with that. It's fine. Like people have told me that I'm aggressive. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Especially with people that like. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we, here it comes. She just said that we were gaslighting and we were like name calling. Let's see. Let's see this ad hominem. Don't tell me that I need to self reflect and lose a bunch of weight. Yeah, definitely. Just a thought. Definitely, bro. I totally owned, totally owned that woman on this video, even though you literally said nothing and all your points didn't make any sense. Now to Cara Comedy. I am appalled. First and foremost, if I'm not mistaken, you and I are mutuals on Insta. And, and, and the reason why I followed you, get this, is because you are a plus-sized comedian. And as a plus-sized comedian myself... Why would you follow somebody because they're a plus-size comedian? Like, just because they're a plus-size comedian? Because you feel like there's some kind of, like, mutual understanding there? Okay. Well, that's stupid. That'd be, like, me following white guys because they're white guys, even though that they don't have anything that would be, like, mutual. Like, I usually tend to follow people that, like, I have interests for. So, like, for instance, uh, I like following guys that play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I like guys that, like, Dragon Ball and Star Wars, and that's probably, you know, like... That's cool. I, like, have those interests. I don't care what race they are or, like, what ethnic background they are or, like, what body type they are. Like, that doesn't – I don't care about that because the interest is, like, what they're talking about. You understand? So, like, I understand what you're saying. That's dumb, though. That's stupid. Like, you do realize that just because she's plus size doesn't mean she thinks in the same way that you think, right? That's the problem. You're just following somebody blindly based off of something that you think, but that doesn't make sense. It's like saying, like, oh, I follow black creators because – they're black creators and then that black creator goes like I, I think i think black people are ugly and i also don't like kfc and i think that ankle bracelets are wrong and then you go oh. not all black people think the same not all women think the same just because they're an ethnic group or they're like a gender or whatever it doesn't mean that they're gonna think across the board exactly like you that's not how that works people are very different and they have different ways of thinking that's a stupid way of that's really dumb why would you ever follow somebody because they're plus size and they're comedian that's that that, that's dumb. It's okay if you want to follow them because they're a comedian, but being a plus-size comedian, the implication is you're following them because they're, they're plus-size. I, I, I appreciated the representation of it all, so I followed you. Which is dumb. That's a stupid thing to say. Like, you, you, you appreciate the... But to find out that you are being fatphobic, and yes, yes, you are being fatphobic, to Samira... A plus size woman who is advocating for a better plus size shopping experience. In I, I don't like it when we have to outline that people are their identities. So like, oh, yeah, a plus size woman um, that's advocating for size inclusivity. Like, why do you have to feel the need to outline the fact that she's a plus size woman? Like, how much value are you putting on that? Like, that's that would it be less if if a thinner person was doing that? I guess so, because that's what you're saying. That's the implication of what you're saying. But regardless uh so what so what um what, what what did this person say that was incorrect uh if you guys don't know to to, to Cairo, whatever her name's comedy said like you should be working on yourself if you can't fit in plus size clothing you should probably uh, make yourself in a healthier body in order to fit into the clothes that are already there instead of expecting everybody else to change around you which is obvious um sick of these people externalizing literally all of their issues and never looking inward it's literally a sign of a weak person um it seems like there's a lot of them though seems like there's a lot of people out there that just refuse to take accountability for themselves and post about it on the internet. And people love it, too. You know, there's so many people, which really pisses me off. Like, when I see people in Samira's comments or here, and I see people go like, Yes, Slay Queen, that's true, 100%. I'm just like, like, are you stupid? Like, do you not understand what this person is saying is very malicious? Like, they're actually taking away your agency and telling you that you shouldn't have to change for society, which is crazy. Like, that's insane, dude. Like, that doesn't work anywhere, ever. But, I guess, whatever, man stores you just coming at her sideways girl he ain't never made damn video about you directly you so i can say whatever i want she posted it publicly right you just hopped in her videos in the yeah. comment section on one telling her to stop going into these stores trying to advocate for a better experience and just lose weight instead yeah that's fine what's wrong with that uh that seems like a valid that sounds like that sounds like a valid criticism what's wrong with that is there a reason why you're like outlining the fact that she's a plus-size black woman you do realize that that was also a plus-size black woman right i just don't understand when people like point it out and like they both apply it doesn't make any sense Takara. what's wrong with that Takara. can you tell us what's wrong with that instead of just saying the name over and over again uh, girl what's what, your point what's blowing me is it makes you big too exactly so what's the issue you just have a small stomach 
Okay. Okay. You, we're neighbors. We're what's the What's the point though? Like, what's your problem? Like, you just you're just saying nothing right now. We're in the same neighborhood. Okay. But because she's bigger, and this is why I feel like small fats should just shut the hell up. As a small fat myself, because. Small fat should shut the hell up and you're a small fat yourself. So are you like telling, are you telling people that you should shut the fuck up as well? Isn't that literally what you're saying? Small fat should be quiet and you're a small fat. Okay. I guess that doesn't apply to her. Stupid. Already debunking herself. I feel like small fats should just shut the hell up as a small fat myself because we experience privilege. When I go into a store, nine times out of ten, I'm going to see a one or two X somewhere. Okay. I'm going to be able to shop. I might not have much to choose from, but I got something to, I got something to do. Okay. Who am I to tell someone who's a three X or plus to just lose the weight then? Because you... You are, by definition, okay, by what you have said, you are a small fat, right? That means that you're smaller as a fat person compared to somebody that's in a 4 or 5X, right? And you're saying, who am I to say that to somebody that has a, a bigger problem than me? You are somebody that no longer has that issue or doesn't have that issue to begin with. So wouldn't it be valuable coming from you knowing that you're also fat and you have more clothing options? Isn't like... Isn't the whole thing that you're saying is that because you're smaller, you have more options, but when you're fatter, you have less options. So why wouldn't you tell that person that's fatter to lose weight to get more options? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's like, what, 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 what else is there? It's like somebody saying like, oh, I have no money. And then that person going, oh, no, you do have money. You just got to save it. You got to like budget it out. Yeah. Who, who am I? Somebody that's making the same amount of money that's budgeting my money correctly compared to somebody that's not budgeting their money collect correctly to tell that person to budget their money correctly. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Uh, it's a dumb point. I don't even understand. Like, what? It, can you please tell us what the point is? Who am I to tell some... Uh, you can't even speak on this by your own words. You have literally disqualified yourself from talking on this because you're a small fat and you literally said to shut up. So, like, everything that you say here is, like, completely... By your own, by, by, I don't, personally, I think everybody should be able to talk on this. I don't think it really matters that you're small or fat or whatever. Like, I don't think it matters, but you think so. So I don't even know why you're talking. One who's a 3X or plus to just lose the weight then. Yep. That you didn't prove any point. That I don't understand what that is. Like, what is this like? You looking back as if that means anything. I just, like, okay, whatever. Oh! Takara, we're not going to sit here and act like you're not one to two Big Macs away. Let's be for real. So it does have something to do with eating, huh? So it does have something to do with eating, huh? So if I can eat one or two Big Macs to get to the Samira size, couldn't she just eat one or two less Big Macs to get to my size to fit in my clothes? <laughs> oh, okay. And for you to claim that you don't have any internalized phobia, yes, you do, because in one breath, it's you're not that phobic. And then the next breath, you're calling her sloppy, fat, big, Takara. I'm, 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 I'm fat phobic. Ma'am. Wait, hold on. Are you fat phobic? Hold up. I want to know something. Is this woman fat phobic? Because she just said you wanted two Big Macs away from that. Is that not fat phobic? Is it not fat phobic to say that you just, you know, you just eating burgers all day and you could easily be fat as fuck if you eating those Big Macs? Maybe I'm just misunderstanding that. Takara. Ma'am. I'm trying to be very generous to this person, but this person is actually, like, agonizing to listen to. We're not going to sit here and act like these stores don't give a damn about plus-size clothing. Why should they, man? Like, you do realize if it doesn't sell, they don't have to, like, you know, like, what, like for instance, when you go to Disney World, they're not trying to make people that don't like Disney World go to Disney World. They know who their audience is. You usually contour your particular, like, for instance, ice cream shops are usually trying to sell ice cream to people that like ice cream. You understand? In the same way that, like, most of these clothing companies are contouring to who comes into the store and buys the clothes. If plus size people are not coming into the store and buying the clothes, why the fuck would they have the clothes on the set, on the racks? As if the majority of American women aren't plus size. That's crazy. So you shouldn't, though, right? Like, that would be a wrong, that would be a, something that is incorrect to do, right? So, like, just because the majority of something is that doesn't mean that that's still something that's good right so like for instance if the majority of america was killing people is that necessarily okay because they're doing that thing no probably not right 
these stores will have our clothing section in the back corner dingy as hell clothes all on the floor no organization or they got why are you virtue signaling bro um so what i don't care like when i go to the men's section i don't really complain that we have like five belts and like three shirts and we have a whole bunch of guys looking over that shirt depressed as hell because we all know none of this is going to fit us uh, it is what it is. We share, we, men literally share a whole floor. Uh, we, we share a floor dedicated to men. We don't even have that whole floor. We just have like a corner of a section and we share the floor with lingerie, uh, lingerie, women's shoes and children. That's our, that's, we, we're in the corner too, but, uh, like, I don't care. Like it is what it is. Most men don't shop. Like it is what it is. Like most guys don't go and buy clothes though. So. That is next to maternity department. No. Yeah disrespectful as hell don't be having sizes don't care to have the proper okay but what's your point though you're not saying anything play they will give us our ass to kiss and you mad at the person fighting against it i'm mad at the person that chooses to do nothing to help themselves and then proceeds to argue that everyone else should change for them that's dumb that's externalizing your problems you're literally taking your own problem and you're putting it upon everybody else that's the issue. And you're, you're just like, for some reason, you're being like purposely obscure. You're being purposely ignorant to not realize that. You know what that person said. Like, instead of instead of having the world change for you, you should be able to change for the world. And, and what, what kills me about that logic or lack thereof is, okay, let's say Samara tonight says, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm tired. I want something different. I'm going to be disciplined like you said. Yeah. I'm going to be disciplined and lose the weight. Tomorrow... Samira is still going to be a 3X. Okay. Next. And then they'll have more uh, They'll have more clothing options. Next week, she's still going to be a 3X. Next month, she's still going to be a 3X. Okay. Where is she going to shop in the meantime between time to call her up? Just probably online. Uh, probably, right? Most people, prob most people buy clothes online nowadays anyway. Fast fashion and stuff like that. Probably just get it online, dude. I don't know. Like, what do you want? Like, you obviously don't take care about yourself. You don't care. You don't take care of yourself in general. So, like, what's even the point of saying this, dude? Like, I understand what you're saying, but there's, I mean, obviously, there's transitional periods. Like, when I was gaining a lot of weight, right? I think at my lowest weight, I weighed, like, I don't know, 108, 107, 106 or something like that. And that was, like, full clothed boots and everything. Um, but I remember when I was gaining weight, uh, it was very hard for me to find clothes at that size. But when I started gaining weight, I didn't buy any clothes in between that period because I knew that if I did, it would just be irrelevant. Like, I was going to size up in general. So, it was, like, no point, right? Um, I understand that, like, it's difficult, but, like, you're just gonna have to wear the slop until you hit that pinnacle. Like, it is what it is. I cannot believe Takara. You know what? I'm so just such a dumb point. Like, why are we really arguing against somebody's, somebody's own agency? How many times are you going to say that person's name? Like, you're not actually saying anything of value here. I have to pull a TI and ATL and yank my follow back because, girl. Yeah, well, nobody cares about your follow, bro. Okay, let's. Or you can follow me. Start with the fact that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Appreciate it. Obesity. And I'm starting with that because that's how it's cited in medical research. They will never accept the truth. Obesity kills and they choose to listen to body positivity people promoting this lifestyle. True. Um, obesity does kill. That is true. The fact that obesity, and I'm starting with that because that's how it's cited in medical research, but being fat doesn't kill anyone. Like, you will never see that cited in most places. What you used to see in medical research is how being fat is correlational mm -hmm. to certain diseases. Yeah. It's a dumb point, dude. When somebody says obesity kills, everybody knows what that means. You're, you're just like, you just want to like change words around. You just want to be semantical for no reason, bro. When somebody says obesity kills, they're not saying like the weight itself is like going to kill you. Like it's like ticking down your health bar. It's what the weight brings upon your body. It's what the weight is doing to yourself internally, right? So that could be high blood pressure. That could be type 2 diabetes. That could just be the fact that your weight is literally impeding your ability to walk. And walking is like really important, especially for cardiovascular health. Like, Yes, the weight itself is like whatever, uh, but what the weight brings, the downstream effect of that weight is the issue. So, like, I don't understand why you're being purposely ignorant about this. It's like such a dumb way of like, why are you rephrasing this? Is correlational. This is why nobody looks at these people as anything other than like, what, what, what's even the point? Like, it's such a dumb, it's such a stupid thing to say. Like, you're literally disqualifying yourself. Just admit the truth, bro. 
to certain diseases and illnesses and problems and health conflicts like there's a lot of stuff that is associated with being fat notice how i didn't say causational because it's not causational obesity will cause a lot of issues yes it will it will or it'll expedite it but the way they're looking at it is like oh obesity itself doesn't like directly have the issue but like they're not seeing that like downward effect of like you gain a lot of weight it becomes harder for your body to move because you have so much extra weight in your body your heart has to pump way 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 more faster or way more way more like way more blood um so that maybe leads to like high blood pressure or like maybe you have very very bad like breathing patterns but before you gain the weight you didn't but because you weigh like an extra 400 pounds on top of your body uh now you're having a hard time to like getting up the stairs or <sighs> sure the weight necessarily is not the issue but like it is downward effects of that weight it's just such a dumb way of looking at it there is no specific fat person disease okay yeah that's true there is no particular fat person disease um but it increases your chances by a dramatic effect to gain those weights so yeah um because people of any weight can get any disease yes in fact things like diabetes and yeah. cardiovascular disease are grossly underdiagnosed in thin people because fat people are tested for that shit constantly and thin people are not tested for So what's the implication? You think thin people are at a higher risk of cardiovascular health and type 2 diabetes compared to obese people? Is that what the implication is? I know that's not what you want to say, huh? I know that's not the truth. We both know that's not the truth. So, I mean, I hear what you're saying. Like, there's no... There's no... A, a, a direct disease associated with it but so what the chances of you getting that particular disease are vastly increased when you are fat so like sure but like who gives a fuck like who cares bro it's like somebody saying like the chances of you dying in a car accident like everybody has a chance to die in a car accident but the chances of you dying in a car accident are much more increased when you're in a car right okay it constantly because pe doctors are like oh they're thin they're fine so like <laughs> so like what what do you what, what can you tell us what you mean by that honestly you should really be telling thin people to get their preventive screenings because like i go to my doctor every year like you're supposed to every to get year. my preventive screenings do you do that a lot of thin people don't i actually just had this conversation with my new pcp she was like have you been going to a PCP every year? And I'm like, yeah, I have. And she's like, good, because honestly, I have had this conversation with a lot of people. They don't do that. And I'm like, I know people should do that. Wow. You're telling us that we should do something when you're literally obese. What does your doctor say about your obesity? Like when you go to your doctor every single year and he sees that there's like no change or you're gaining weight or whatever. Like, does he not say anything about that? Or would that just be fat phobic? I would love to know what your doctor says. And I'm not. Because you're so quick to bring up the fact that you go to your doctor, right? You're such a good, healthy person, right? saying that those prior studies that said they were correlational didn't exist. I'm acknowledging that those are out there, that you're not gonna get an argument from me that those don't exist or that they're wrong. What I am saying is that newer medical research that has come out that I have talked about and have linked for you that I know you won't go and read because you're the one who's denying that newer medical research exists. Well, you're the one making this claim, right? Like, you are the one that needs to prove this point. So, like, if you can't articulate the reason and you just say, go read it, bro, or, like, go hashtag, go research it yourself, bro, you, you're the one making this claim. So, it's on you. The onus is on you to supply the, the argument. You do realize that? Like, you have to articulate that in order for people to believe this because everybody else already believes the other thing. But you somehow know this hidden information. Can you articulate that information instead of just telling people to, like, go research it, bro? Um, is saying that what those studies didn't take into account are things like social determinants of health, genetics, weight stigma, poor treatment by healthcare providers, preventive screenings, like things that could have skewed those studies and not looked for underlying causes or like why people weren't diagnosed until later. Like there were other outside factors that they didn't account for. And so that's the stuff that I'm talking about that's making it correlational and not causational. Is this person up for a talk, bro? I'd love to hear about this information. Which means that you don't die from obesity. Is it a factor? 
Sure. But so is being tall because you have more cells. So is smoking. So is drinking. So are a vast array of other things that- If somebody was smoking cigarettes, okay, and they decided that they, that was their, what they wanted to do, and everybody told them that smoking cigarettes is not going to be good for you, and it leads to a whole bunch of downward effects of negative health, right? And they wanted to continue to do that, fine. In the same way that you, for instance, are fat and you want to you want to continue to be fat, all we're asking you is to acknowledge that you're going to have a whole bunch of issues associated with being overweight. That's all we're asking, but you just can't even do that. Put you more at risk for certain diseases. So are other things that are- Yeah, but like what you're doing is like you're trying to like purposely, you're trying to purposely uh, rearrange the argument to make it seem like it's not as bad as it actually is. Like, oh, smoking does it. People that do this, why aren't you calling out these people? Why aren't you calling these people? Because we, we both know that we're talking about weight, right? This is literally what you're talking about right now. I don't care about people smoking. I don't care about any of that stuff. We're talking about weight right now. So when, like when you say this shit, uh, you're trying to reframe the argument to seem like it's not that big of a deal because it happens everywhere. I agree, short-term- short-term benefit for long-term defects, but can you at least acknowledge that this is gonna be majorly ben majorly defectical on your health? No, we can't even do that. Also beyond your control. It's not beyond your control. Like if you don't wanna smoke cigarettes, that would, if you don't smoke cigarettes, then you will 100% benefit from that. Um, if you drink less alcohol, same thing. If you eat less food and you do that because you're obese, that will be beneficial. It's just not out of your control, you can do it. So. And those things will all incre incredibly benefit your health. <laughs> you have certain risk factors and I don't know why we are blaming people for those things. If you're fat and you're fat because you ate too much, which majority of the people are, I'm blaming you for that. Yes, because you decided to eat that much. I can't blame anybody else for that. Literally, well, who am I also going to blame? Like God himself because he bestowed upon you the food for your mouth? No, I got to blame you. Free will. You put it in your mouth. You decided to eat it. And you may have not been like actively making that decision in the moment in the sense of like you knew that this was going to be the downward effect of that, but you made it, you made that decision passively. So who else am I supposed to blame? I can't like if that person wants to smoke cigarettes and they know it's bad, then they smoke the cigarettes. I don't care. That's up to them. In the same way that you ate that food and you got fat. So I have to blame you and the other person for smoking the cigarettes. Who else am I going to blame? I can't blame anybody else. It's your decision. Other than you being loudly fat phobic under the guise of, but I care about you. I don't care about you. Um, but you're making words come out of your mouth. Like the fact that these words fell out of your lips to make that sentence is diabolical. You're saying actual hogwash right now. And you're trying to proclaim that you know what you're talking about. But you don't. But you don't. You don't. And you're like actually gaslighting people into believing that like it's not up to them to make these decisions when who else can make these decisions besides them. What are you even talking about right now? Like none of this makes any sense. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I appreciate if everybody um, could like the today's video, like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously because it helps me grow on the algorithm. Um, appreciate if you could do any of that stuff for me. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in bananas because bananas need some appreciation today. They're beautiful creatures. Um, I love them. Sometimes I gaze upon them with deep satisfaction because I know what they bring. They bring me much, much joy. Um, they're a little bit veiny. Hold up now veiny banana is not exactly what you want to hear but um they are veiny i do like them i think that they're cool people and i think you're a cool people i think you're an amazing people i think that you have amazing things going for you i love the way you floss your teeth i love the way you brush your teeth that's amazing by the way the way that you brushed your teeth this morning that was chef's kiss that was beautiful that was amazing that was actually the most awesome thing I've seen all day because you were able to get every spot and you were able to artic you were able to accurately brush it correctly. And that was great. That was awesome. That was beautiful. Your elbows are very well lubricated. Anyway, guys, we're gonna end the video here. Uh, social medias will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.